Happy Holidays from DJ Mario TV. <laughs> New York City, Philadelphia, Connecticut, and all those out there in internet world. Here we are, another Sunday above ground. Thank you so much to uh, Believe in Yourself, Claudette St. Rose, for uh, allowing me to be a part of her life as we take this journey together, incorporating people through film, because I grew up myself watching The Twilight Zone, Star Trek, The Honeymooners, and I always wondered, how do they do that? And here I am doing it now. Many, many Okay, well, the game is about to start. Oh, here comes John. John's going to say a couple of words of wisdom. Uh, John, I was talking about health earlier. Uh, uh, Claudette St. Rose and myself, we were doing a seminar in regard to uh, doctors okay. giving good advice. And you said something about smoking. If you say the same thing you said to the camera for those out there who smoke. Well, from my lessons and what I know from back in the day, if your household come up smoking in front of kids at the age of five, six, seven years old, they all that that gives them an advantage to start smoking because they think it's cool, and you and do uh, lead by example, correct? Right, as a parent, right, right, or and someone in the house where children are, and also the next thing, smoking and also drinking. When your kids see you drinking, a lot of times back in the day, a lot of kids come up drinking, and that's how they start drinking. But you have to teach your kids as you get older, smoking and drinking is no good. In the long run, it affect you. When you're doing it, you feel good, but in the long run, it affect you. And that's why pe uh, most of the, the time, next generation, yeah, next generation, yeah, they don't want you to smoke or drink, because in the long run, when you reach to be 35, 40, 50 years old, you're gonna say, "Well, I never smoked," and then you're feeling good, because but, but, long, long but, but, time ago, people used to smoke, had started smoking at 17, 18, and because they thought it was cool, right? Because they couldn't do no running when they're playing ball activity, but I know some friends of mine stopped smoking at the age of 22, 23. And now they cannot run me, and I don't smoke. But they, I know they catch hell doing it. But anyway, you know, always teach your kids smoking and drinking is not cool. And speaking of kids, give your son a shout out and all your family while we're doing this. This here. goes out to my son Denim. He's probably looking the camera. My son Denim. He's probably sleeping right now. Do you kiss he's your son every every Let's morning? Him a kiss. All right, son. <laughs> and the old lady too. Hey, I ain't say all about her. I talk uh, about the kids. Let's, let's <laughs> ignore know. that because yeah, yeah, he gonna make me sleep on the couch, and I'm not sleeping on the couch. Shout out to you. Shout out. All right, Terry, love you, girl. All right, and stop hating because you know it ain't but one person right now, and that's you. There's nobody else. Stop calling other people name. I hope you can see this. Love you. Talk to y'all later. Bye. No, she will see this. You know how the internet is. Internet, I'm about to get off Facebook, but now I'm going self. Anyway, with that said, thank you, John. A few words of advice for those who are my age and older, and I appreciate those who are watching this because out of all the videos you could be watching, you really don't have to watch it. This is Sunday morning basketball, over 40, over 20. <laughs> Listen, it is what it is. And if you should need me to come out to your basketball game, maybe I can come out and support it. And don't think about money. If I can come out and volunteer, if I can come out and share my talents with you, that's what life is all about. It's what it really is all about. So hit me up at 646-206-8859. Don't call me after 8 p.m. because I'm over 40 and I need my sleep. But you can give me the call. Okay, John, you give me a call at the 212-714-7188. I got to get to my game. Sunday morning basketball. This is what we do. East 86th Street, Carl Schultz Park. Shout out going out to Believe in Yourself video, Diamond video, Cato the Cameraman, Big Beauty Productions, Frank the Cameraman, B-Fats, DJ Tall Guy, DJ Reg. Listen, the list goes on. And also, happy belated birthday to DJ Shorty love i couldn't be there because i had other prior commitments happy birthday shorty love and happy birthday to your husband so i guess he must be husband shorty love <laughs> congratulations we'll be right back with more after this commercial break with a full game happening here at east 86th street so join us or just call me i'll tell you how you could be part of the team peace hey javon aka bubbles happy holidays for dj mario tv <laughs> I want to thank Noel from Randy Murray Cookout. Yo, Willie, Willie, Willie Murray. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother in, in, in love and the power of the Lord. I want to thank that brother for helping me expand my game. And all my brothers out here, I'm my boy OG. You know what I'm saying? One of the best. And that's, you know, that's what we do. DJ Mario, Diamond Video, Noel, Harlem. We here. Y'all know what it is. This is Left Hand. And that's what we do. Peace and love. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. 
Coming to you live on Lennox, 143rd. Want to give a big rest in peace to Randy Murray. Big shout out to Noel, Randy's daughter, for having an annual barbecue. Big shout out to my man Tone, retired, living a good life. Mic check, white check, one, two, one, two. Hey, it's a blessed Sunday. You know, here we're honoring one of the great people that uh, passed away this year. And our community did a lot of outstanding things. All right, we call him Coach Randy. All right, miss him very dearly. He did the Sunday boss basketball at Abyssinian, the Frederick Samuels Community Center. And uh, just seeing these good brothers, honoring him by keeping the legacy going. All right. They say that there's a time when you're born and a time when you pass away, when you move on. But it's that dash that's in the middle that's really what's all, what it's all about. And his dash is very long, as you can see, and it continues to grow. So we're asking everybody that's not, that hasn't come out, I want to say a big ups to his daughter for honoring him today. She's also doing a, a foundation in his name, all right, doing a scholarship for kids, kids that need help in schoolwork, sports, anything that they might need. She's willing to give them a helping hand. So come out, buy a t-shirt, come out and participate, and you too can be part of this delicacy. This is Coach Brooks from the Abyssinian Youth on the Move program. God bless to all of y'all. Hi, my name is Janine Mares, and I'm author of Infinite Love, The Pursuit book series. Happy holidays from DJ Mario TV. I am standing here with Dr. Bay, and this was a fabulous event. Oh, I'm happy that I was here. Tell us what inspires you to do what you do. Oh my goodness. You know, we've been in the community for 30, over 30 years, yes. and the physicians here are committed to really going into the community and educating people about their health and their disease and how they can do better. We feel that people should be better healthcare consumers. And the way that happens is if you know more about the illnesses that, that you know, that, you come, that comes about with age or no matter how you get the illness, you should know more about it so that you can take care of it. And we feel that coming into the churches and allowing people to ask their medical questions is a way that people can, can hear it, can really connect to it. And, that, and, and we just feel that that's a place that people feel comfortable asking their questions as well, especially when you're African American. So we just feel very passionate about it and we want to keep doing this because we feel it's necessary for, the, for our community. I absolutely love this, Dr. Bay. Is this the first year that you're doing this or is this your second year? Yeah, this is actually our second yeah. year. We're about a year and a half into this okay. and believe it or not, it's going, oh, it's like wildfire. Well, I would <laughs> like to invite you to New York. Oh. I mean, We'd How love, about New York? We love to come to what, New York. We, we got to get there. We got to get there. What do we have to do to bring you to New York? Oh, because I yeah. absolutely love this. And I think our people, our people need to hear the doctors, their honesty. Because I'm telling you, this was an honest panel. And there were no punches pulled. They were really on point <laughs> and told us exactly how things are right. because this is what we need. Unfortunately in our communities, Dr. Bay, there are so many secrets and you go to the doctor for one thing, not all physicians like you said, not all doctors, there are a lot of doctors but not all doctors are great doctors. And sometimes it's not all about putting money in your pockets, it's about really making sure that the people in your community are well and are informed. Right, so right. So how about coming to New York City? You know, what do we have to do? Well, you know what you do? You, we just need to get you in contact with me. And we, we, hey, listen, we'll make it happen. I really would like yeah, for you we'll to do make this it because, happen. again, there's so much affecting our community yeah. and we don't know. Mm -hmm. And they're, the worst thing, I think, for us in our communities is really lack, lack of knowledge. Right, true, true. And that true, is true. really a killer. Yeah, and that's one thing that we, we find and over the years we've understood right. is that African Americans really need to just step back and just openly accept 
you know, some of the information that's out there. I truly think that with medicine where it is today, there's great, med great information out there. It's just whether it's connecting to the people that it should connect to. And is it being displayed in a way that these people will hear it? I mean, hear it within themselves so that they actually do something about it. Like, for instance, with our website, ObeyYourDoctor.com, it's about the health ministry, but it's about connecting. We come to the churches, but we don't want to just drop it there. Right. We want to be able to connect with the people so we get emails, we get phone numbers, we do, you know, that we, we, we keep in contact. We have a newsletter that goes out monthly. And then if you go to the website, it covers health, nutrition, and weight loss because in our community, weight and nutrition Those is so hand. important to your health. And I think if we just start there, if we can get our community to decrease weight, and come down to a normal, ideal body weight, a lot of the diseases that are really mortality and morbidity and killing our people, well, just, you know what I mean? Lives will be saved, you know, longevity will happen just because you lost weight. So we're starting with the weight and we're going there and we're educating about diseases, but it's so important to make sure that people connect, that you're saying it in a way that they can feel it in their hearts and they can connect to it and, and do something it. about I it. I felt it in mm -hmm. my heart. Dr. Yeah. Faye, tell people how long you've been in practice and what oh, your specialty. Oh my goodness. My specialty, I'm a pulmonary or a lung specialist that does critical care medicine and also I do nutrition. After my critical care year, I went to the University of Penn, Pennsylvania and did nutrition as well. So I've been in practice about, oh goodness, I hate to say it, over 30 years, and um, uh, we do, you know, we just take care of the patients day by day by day, well, and it's I important. Well, I have to tell you, Dr. Bay, you and I were meant to, to meet, and the reason I say this is because my dad, may God rest his soul, my mm -hmm. dad passed away 14 years ago uh -huh. from lung cancer. Oh, my goodness, all right. And mm -hmm. he was a smoker right. many, many moons before, but he stopped smoking mm -hmm. 30 years, right? and it still affected it's him, still and affected. he passed right. away. Right. So right. I am happy that I've had a, you know the, the opportunity and the privilege to meet you right. and that you're really so informative and in giving us the information that's necessary. And again, I repeat, this is something we need in our community. Right. And again, he's one of ours. And when you find somebody that looks like you doing great things, and again, you are also a, you know coming from where you come from. And my daughter, I just want to put that little commercial in because I'm a proud mommy. I hear you. My daughter is in her second year at Georgetown University. Excellent. And she's kicking butt. Oh yeah. So oh, I'm yeah. really excited. Excellent. Really, Thumbs really up excited on that. About you that. better Maya, believe it. I'm speaking to Dr. Bay. <laughs> so right. Dr. Bay, is there anything, look into the camera and tell the people, you know, that you, you know, how you feel about doing what you do and, yeah. and how this experience, what it has done for yeah. you. You know, it, it brings joy to my heart to be able to, you know, the way I look at life is this. We all, God give, gave each of us two things, and that's 100%. I'm sure he gave us more, but two things that I think of. Number one, he gave us this body that is phenomenal. I mean, this body does things. This brain is the best computer. It heals itself. This body is wonderful, number one. Number two, what he gave us, he gave each of us a gift. And you know, some people, you know, they can add in their head. Other people have beautiful voices. Another one can run fast. Another one can, you know, their science makes sense to them. But medicine makes sense to me. So I'm thinking that, boy, three things. Number one, have you identified your gift? Number two, have you developed your gift? And number three, are you sharing your gift? So I feel that medicine is a way that I can share, bring that back to the community, do what I do best, you know? And that's, oh, I love that, that. that's I, what I, I think. I don't have anything else to say. I'm so <laughs> emotional. Oh my goodness. But we're gonna say something. We're <laughs> gonna say, obey your doctor, but I'm going, I'm gonna add to that. <laughs> Cause I'll obey Dr. Bay. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. One, two, All three. Right. All right. Obey. <laughs> well, together. Let's do it oh, together. Okay. All right. One, two, three. Obey, obey your, your doctor. doctor. <laughs> I'll obey Dr. Bay. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 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 like that.